I'm joined here by Meredith Geisler with the Meredith Communication Firm. And Meredith, you're in public relations. Can you tell us a little bit about your business and um, how it applies to sports? Sure. Thank you for having me. Um, I, my business is sports, sports public relations. I work primarily with uh, professional athletes. Um, some of my clients include Grant Hill, Shane Battier, Tim Duncan, Ray Allen, Chris Young, 6'10 pitcher for the uh, New, now New York Mets, Ross Ollendorf, another pitcher for the Pittsburgh Pirates. I also work with sports uh, companies that are invested in sports, uh, company XCO Sports Link. We're developing apps for uh, teams and college athletic departments and individual athletes. Um, I have some other, I work with sports authors, I publicize their books, and um, have a, a working on an initiative right now called On the Line. It's a prostate cancer awareness initiative, and uh, the reason it's connected to sports is that we're using a lot of sports broadcasters and um, sports college basketball coaches um, to help deliver the message. Okay. And so um, as someone who's worked in PR journalism, what kind of made you want to go from the more straightforward journalism track and transfer that into the sporting world? Um, well, I had gotten my master's also in sport management, um, similar to the Georgetown program, and um, knew that public relations was an area that was of tremendous interest to me. I, PR is a lot about relationships, about talking, about communicating, about um, you know, being extroverted, all the things that I think I am. And um, so it was very easy for me to decide not to do journalism, but do public relations and help, help deliver and help um, um, develop messages for my clients so that would ultimately end up in media, print, and broadcast. And you mentioned that Grant Hill is one of your clients with the whole Fab Five documentary um, shenanigans that went on. How, what was your invo um, role involvement um, in that whole situation being you know, in charge of his PR? Um, great question. I, um, as Grant's publicist, he had contacted me the night that the uh, the Fab Five documentary aired, and was after watching it, he was extremely uh, displeased and angry with um, what had been um, what had the comments that came out of there, and decided that he wanted to do something about it. He's generally takes a very neutral position in, in most things that are um, controversial, but he felt this was an affront to himself, an affront to his family, an affront to the things that his parents had provided to him, a front to the university, a front to his, you know, teammates, um, who had, many of them had sim very similar situations to Jalen, and the fact that Jalen was, you know, classifying them in the university as, as a place that was um, not right for um, players of a certain ilk was just very, very offensive, so Grant decided that he wanted to write something excuse me, a letter about it and um, asked me to, quote, you know, work my magic to try and get it placed somewhere. So, um, you know, through my relationships with um, m several members of the media, I reached out to a gentleman that I'd worked with from the New York Times and told him, you know, what had happened and asked if he thought the New York Times would be interested in, um, would be interested in publishing this and got back to me and, and uh, said they would definitely be interested in Put, put, publishing it online as well as putting it in the paper, pub, publishing it in the paper. So my role was really, you know, working with Grant to help facilitate um, coverage of the uh, of his editorial and determine, you know, ultimately where it would be where it would be printed and and publicized. And why is it important for someone like you, who obviously works with a lot of these big name athletes, to come to a conference like See Me and to share your story with, um, you know, people trying to break into the industry? Um, well, it's just, you know, I, I feel like it's my, um, A, I love, I love teaching, I love working with um, people that are interested in, in the industry. Um, I was there, you know, in the same situation many, many years ago, and uh, I always really appreciated people helping me, uh, mentoring me that were already in the, established in the industry and helped guide me to, to get to where I am today. So I feel like, you know, a, I love it, and P, it's uh, B. Uh, skip the rest of the alphabet to get to P now. <laughs> B, um, it's uh, I feel you know somewhat of an obligation um, because of the people who had helped me along the way. So um, those are the reasons. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me.